muy buenas noches. Estamos muy contentos de estar aquí de nuevo en Jardín Café de Chicago y nosotros estamos muy seguros de que todo el programa lo podemos presentar como la gente de la cocina lo saben porque en Chicago todo el mundo habla español, ¿verdad? Porque es una ciudad prácticamente bilingüe o multilingüe o multicultural en un lugar donde se puede hablar español, ¿verdad? Así que, eh, bueno, pero en caso you didn't understand what we were saying, <laughs> I wanted to say that we're very happy to be here back at the Heartland Cafe after so many years. As Michael was saying, the evil empire is, uh, like they say, ding dong, the witch is dead, it's over. <laughs> and uh, we are uh, witnessing uh, uh, something approaching normalcy, but uh, you know, as I say, it was, it was uh, a little bit of uh, a touch, touch and go until the last moment until we actually had the visas and we were able to, to come in and play. We just did a few concerts in, in uh, California, and uh, we're on our way to, uh, to uh, Eastern States, but we had to come by here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we had to, we had to, we had to. Some places we go in uh, the United States, people know nothing about food music. I'm sure this is not the case, but uh, you know, there, at least there's one song that the name of the song is something that worldwide people know. This is a song written, it's a, a danson, written in the 1950s. The danson, you know, was a couple's dance, and it was so, you know, like, uh, different back in uh, the beginning of the uh, 20th century, the 1910 or something like that. It was considered almost pornographic, you know, like danson, but man, if they saw reggaeton or something today. <laughs> so anyway, uh, this song in the 1950s when this composer, Israel Lopez, who is a bass player, who great Cuban bass player who passed away a couple of years ago, and uh, wrote a great amount of danzones in this instrumental thing in, you know, with influence from everything from impressionist uh, European music to bebop, jazz, and the record company said he was crazy. Nobody was ever gonna buy a record of instrumental danzones with him. Well, okay. 60 years later, at least everyone around the world knows the title of this song because it was also the title song of a, an amazing project that brought new life to old musicians that we have known and loved forever in Cuba. They won a, Grammys and Oscars around the world and traveled around and, and uh, it's exciting for people of any nationalities to see people in their 80s and 90s doing now, eh? But anyway, I guess by now you know the name of the song but since it was written by a bass player, Israel Lopez, we actually would like to uh, dedicate a solo to him, to, to uh, Israel Lopez, to Cachao. We want to uh, introduce this by, by having a solo by uh, a, a musician that did not come from Cuba with us. He actually, he did get here on a raft though. <laughs> uh, right, right on, uh, what's this lake out here in Michigan? Well, Okay, we found him on a raft floating out here and uh, he came from a different neighborhood of Chicago, actually. So, Fred, Fred Leo. Okay, and the song is called Buena Vista Social Club, it goes like this. Yeah. 